Okay, let's see what the mailman brought for future fountain pen review. This isn't exactly an unboxing video since these are envelopes. Okay. Okay, Mahjong Moon Man. Oh my god, come on. Tape. There we go. Okay. go with a nice roll stop as opposed to a clip I have a orange one with a clip and converter and let's see I think this has there we go yeah as the empty empty ink cartridge inside and a little eyedropper is included for filling that way if you prefer oh my god what am i doing Trying to reassemble this for the camera in front of me is not working too well. Okay, so that's that little instruction booklet. Okay, so the rest of this uh, unenveloping was never meant to be a pen review it was kind of interrupted and the previous scene I've either minimized the sound or maybe even cut I have to determine when I put this all together but the reason is that uh, while I was filming all of a sudden this is the tripod I normally use, and you can see the remnants here of the clip for the phone burst into pieces, and the phone went flying, and the camera went flying, and this went flying, and unfortunately my mouth went flying. <laughs> So that wasn't quite what I had hoped for, and I'm now filming at night, hence the, the glare from the light. Sorry about that. What I was showing was the Moon Man A1 capless pen that I just got with the roll stop, which is a feature I wanted to try. Kind of neat. Um, I already had the Moon Man yellow or orange, depending on how you want to define your colors with the clip, but I haven't inked this one yet. And to assuage the, the pain I felt with uh, my exploding camera mount on this. Moto G stylus phone which is entirely too large. It's just uh, this was one of the few phone clips that actually would stretch enough to fit it until it no longer did. So anyway, I did ink ink this with uh, Pelican lavender. So I'm going to do everything uh, with one hand because I'm holding this phone now instead of mounting it. 
And this is an extra fine nib, yeah, but it um, writes a little broader than that, more like a fine, partially because of adjustment. When I looked at the nib, it was a little misaligned. So I did my alignment wonders with my thumbnail and spread the tines just a little bit to get a, a broader ink flow. And I'm very happy with this nail. And this is, this is um, very, very smooth. And as I said, it's marked as an extra fine, but uh, really it no longer is. So that's very nice. Again, this is not a review. I will do a review of these pens. This is a original Namiki Vanishing Point, probably from like 20 years ago. And um, I mean, the Moon Man is a very direct and close copy. Um, but Namiki Pilot has never come out with this roll stop which is a, is a nice idea for this because if anyone had objection to the Namiki vanishing point, then later the pilot vanishing point, it was that the clip might be uh, in the way when gripping the pen. I never found that, but I think it was more psychological than physical. So anyway... To show you the other two things that came in, uh, which I haven't inked. This is a Pen BBS 494, and it's a piston filler. And obviously a demonstrator. Let me see if I can uncap this one handed. And uh, I just picked it up because it was so ridiculously cheap. I think they were even cheaper in the past, but this this was uh, $6.72, shipping included from I, I can't do this one-handed, but I don't want to break it. The piston uh, works very smoothly from um, AliExpress, is what I meant to say. But this has a, a locking mechanism, which I really like when the piston is all the way retracted. You can do a further turn to the piston knob and it, it locks into place for safety sake. And I, I really like that. And I think this is the cheapest pen BBS that you can get. Least expensive, I should say, not cheapest. And the nib is marked Marshmallow. So, but it is sold by Pen VBS. And then, uh, last but not least, uh, a new X159 from Jinhao, which is certainly the pen of the year uh, for 2022 with its number eight size nib. And they have a whole bunch of colors now. This is probably the last one I wanted to get. It's gold trim. I'd gotten what they call the red, but the burgundy a couple weeks ago. Um, and also the black with the gold trim. And the I'll do a review of these pens comparing it to my Mont Blanc 149 75th anniversary pen. And this was the first uh, X159 I got with the silver trim. And um, I've, been, I've sold the 159, the metal version, for many years on hisnibs.com. And it was always a very, very popular pen. And that also came in many different colors. So 
Anywho, these are the three pens that came in today. All quite different, and uh, although I haven't inked this one yet, these two uh, I'm very happy with. And um, I don't think it was necessarily worth the exploding. Pen holder, I mean phone holder. Uh, it's late at night, I'm tired, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Not that when I'm fully rested I know what I'm saying, but there's a difference. So anyway, uh, the Moto G stylus phone and smartphone cameras is very nice, but it's so damn wide and large and difficult to manipulate one-handed. So it's a, it's a trade-off. But the stylus is nice for taking a quick note. I tried writing on the screen with fountain pens, but the ink tends to not adhere very well to the screen. So the stylus makes uh, a bit more sense. Anyway, uh, let me put this in the first segment together, and I think uh, the first segment shows some things flying, including the phone, <laughs> and uh, a few choice words for me at the time, which uh, I guess I can't leave intact if I want them actually to be posted on YouTube. Take care.